let's begin. And before we start, if you enjoy Deep Tesla updates, make sure you hit the subscribe button to support future Drive Hub. It helps us bring you more powerful videos just like this. Um, and then starting next year, Tesla will officially begin manufacturing the updated Tesla Semi. At the 2025 Tesla Annual Shareholder Meeting, we actually got our first real look at the refreshed semi-truck, and the changes are bigger than most people expected. What you're looking at right now is the current Tesla Semi, and the one coming in 2026 is basically a next-generation version, sleeker, more powerful, more efficient, and built for autonomy right from the start. Elon Musk made it very clear on stage that the Tesla Semi is one of the three major products entering large-scale production next year. He said it directly, we've got Optimus, we've got the new Semi, and we've got the Cyber Cab. Three big launches happening almost back-to-back. -back. And the Semi update is not just a small refresh. Elon said it is more efficient, has a higher payload capacity, and is now engineered from the ground up to support autonomous driving. That means the new version isn't just a facelift. It's a structural and technological upgrade across the whole truck. The new semi features a redesigned chassis, new exterior lighting, new body panels, better aerodynamics, and improved serviceability. Even the price is expected to change slightly. Elon hinted it will be a bit lower than previously announced. That's huge news for truck drivers and fleet companies who have been waiting for a modern, electric, low-maintenance heavy-duty truck that actually saves money instead of draining it. So the big questions begin. Just how efficient is this new semi? Can Tesla really hit the insane goal of producing 50,000 trucks per year? And is the driving experience really as smooth as the rumors claim? Let's dive in right now. The original Tesla semi was introduced in 2017 and started deliveries at the end of 2022. But here's the truth. Since launch, the semi hasn't really changed. Tesla made only around 250 units total. Elon even admitted that the current semis running inside Tesla and the ones delivered to PepsiCo and other early customers were basically prototype models. Test units meant to collect data and gather real-world feedback before mass production. That's the reason the semi has kept the same design for almost eight years. But now Tesla says it is finally time to upgrade it with a proper production-ready version that looks more futuristic and is capable of true autonomous driving. Yes, the world's first Class 8 electric truck engineered to eventually haul cargo fully autonomously. Even though the semi wasn't the main highlight of the shareholder meeting, Elon Musk ended up revealing some massive information about it. He said the semi refresh is a full, comprehensive update, new look, new functionality, new hardware, new aerodynamics, and big software improvements. The most noticeable upgrade on the outside is instantly the front end. Tesla redesigned the headlights, and now they match the design language of the Model Y and Cybertruck. Some people loved the original prototype headlights because they looked like expressive, bright eyes that made the truck look futuristic. And honestly, we like that too. But the new light bar that stretches across the front looks more premium, more modern, and way more aerodynamic. Tesla didn't stop there. The front bumper is also new, the side panels have been optimized, and the roofline now has smoother curves instead of the old boxy shape. These aren't just cosmetic tweaks. Every small curve, angle, and contour affects aerodynamics on a massive truck like this. The current semi already had an insane drag coefficient of just 0.36. Absolutely unbelievable for a giant Class A truck. That's part of why it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 20 seconds while fully loaded. But now, with the redesigned front end, more optimized airflow channels, and a refined windshield angle, Tesla is aiming to bring the drag coefficient even lower. A CD of around 0.34 is totally achievable. You might think a small 0.02 improvement is nothing, but here's the crazy thing most people don't know. A drag reduction that small can cut energy consumption by 5% to 7%. That means a longer driving range, tens of miles more per charge. That's a huge deal for truck companies. Now compare this to diesel trucks. 
Most diesel trucks on the road have a drag coefficient between 0.65 and 0.70. They're literally pushing a wall of air when driving at highway speeds. They burn more fuel, accelerate slower, and create much louder wind noise. Meanwhile, the Tesla Semi basically slices through the air like a giant electric bullet. Which headlights do you prefer? The original design or the new light bar? Let's continue with the design upgrades. Another huge change is the windshield. The original Semi had a huge panoramic windshield, massive, curved, and honestly beautiful. It gave an aircraft-like view. But that giant glass panel also created more wind resistance and added unnecessary solar heat load inside the cabin. In the refreshed version, the windshield is slightly smaller and more aggressively curved. This new shape gives smoother airflow over the cabin, reduces drag around the A-pillars, and even improves battery cooling efficiency by lowering direct heat entering the cabin. Tesla basically made it more aerodynamic, more energy efficient, and safer against cracking and debris impact. Now let's talk about payload. Tesla says the upgraded semi supports a higher payload capacity, meaning it can carry more cargo per trip. Currently, the maximum gross combined weight allowed in the U.S. for electric trucks is 82,000 pounds. To increase payload, Tesla has to reduce the truck's own weight. The current long-range semi weighs about 23,000 pounds, but Tesla is planning to cut that down using a redesigned battery pack and a refined chassis structure. This brings us to one of the biggest changes in the entire semi-refresh, the 4,680 battery cells. Tesla confirmed the new semi will use the 4,680 high-voltage battery cells, the same advanced cell type being used in the CyberCab launching in April 2026. This is the most powerful battery pack Tesla has ever developed. The 4680 cell has an energy density of around 290 WH slash kg and is far cheaper to produce because of its tabless design and structural integration. This is a huge technological shift. Dan Priestley already revealed that the Semi Gen 2 will have a slightly smaller battery pack but still achieve the same long-range performance. That's because improved aerodynamics and reduced weight provide up to a 7% efficiency boost. The truck becomes lighter, cheaper to build, and easier to maintain, while still giving the same or even better range. This is exactly what the Semi needed. Experts have predicted this move for years. The Cybertruck used the 4680 as its secret weapon, and now the Semi gets the same technology, better power output, lower heat generation, and dramatically improved cost efficiency. Since Tesla produces these cells at Gigafactory Nevada, the company can fully control the supply chain. No third parties. No delays. No markup. Just streamlined manufacturing, cheaper production, and faster delivery. Tesla says the new semi consumes only 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, around 15% better than the previous model. Combined with the 500 mile range, this makes the truck extremely competitive against electric trucks from Daimler, Volvo, and BYD. The truck still delivers around 800 kilowatts of power, but Tesla upgraded the cooling systems, software algorithms, and thermal routing to keep performance consistent even under heavy load. Charging is also improved. The new semi supports up to 1.2 megawatts, way beyond the current megacharger standard. With the new charging tech, truck stops in the future could recharge a semi in around 20 to 30 minutes in ideal conditions. Tesla also increased the payload capacity, but didn't reveal the exact number yet. Now let's talk money. When Tesla first announced the Semi in 2017, the price was $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile version. The limited founder's edition was $200,000. But that was eight years ago. Dan Priestley recently said on X that the new front end is more aerodynamic, easier to build, easier to repair, and uses more shared components from other Tesla vehicles. This lowers production costs significantly. Analysts now expect the Semi Gen 2 to be priced between $160,000 and $190,000 depending on range and configuration. Even if the retail price rises slightly due to inflation, 
the truck will be far more refined than the original prototype. And remember, Tesla allows customers to customize the semi based on their daily route requirements. A fleet with short daily routes may choose a lower range version and save tens of thousands of dollars. But even if the semi is not cheap up front, it destroys diesel trucks when it comes to operational savings. Okay, this is where things get serious. Operating cost is the number one factor in trucking. Fuel, maintenance, repairs, downtime, all of it adds up fast. And this is exactly where the Tesla Semi demolishes the competition. Let's compare. A diesel truck burns about one gallon every 6.5 miles. Diesel costs around $3.50 per gallon in the U.S. That means 44 cents per mile. The Tesla Semi uses 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. At an average commercial electricity price of around 18 cents per kilowatt hour, it costs about 30 cents per mile. That's almost 45% cheaper. Huge. If a truck drives 100,000 miles per year, fuel for a diesel truck costs $54,000. Electricity for the semi would cost about $30,000, a savings of $24,000 every year. Over 10 years, that's $240,000 saved. Literally the cost of the semi itself. Maintenance savings are even bigger. Diesel trucks have thousands of moving parts. The engine, transmission, turbo systems, exhaust systems, cooling systems, oil lines, fuel pumps, injectors, filters, you name it. They require constant maintenance. The Tesla Semi? No engine. No transmission. No oil changes. No emission systems. Far fewer moving parts. Brake pads last three to four times longer thanks to regenerative braking. Maintenance costs drop by 60% to 70%. According to Tesla and major customers like PepsiCo and Walmart, the total lifetime savings per truck are $200,000 to $250,000 compared to diesel. And let's not forget carbon reduction. One million gallons of diesel equals roughly 22,400 metric tons of CO2 emissions. Companies switching to electric fleets will save millions while boosting their brand and sustainability image. Tesla's goal is bigger than selling trucks. They are preparing for a fully autonomous trucking network. The Semi Gen 2 is designed with FSD hardware compatibility. The cameras, sensors, wiring, processors, and computing modules match Tesla's latest architecture, making it fully ready for autonomous software updates in the future. Tesla is standardizing hardware across all vehicles, Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck, Cybercab, and now the Semi. This reduces cost and ensures compatibility with future FSD versions. If Tesla wants a 24-7 autonomous trucking fleet, this Semi Gen 2 is the foundation of that dream. And speaking of the trucking industry, the timing couldn't be more perfect. The U.S. relies heavily on truck transport, over 70% of domestic goods move by road. But the industry is collapsing due to a severe driver shortage. The U.S. is missing around 80,000 truck drivers right now, and that number might double by 2030. Working conditions play a big role. Truck drivers often work 10 to 14 hours per day, sleep in small cabins, eat on the road, and spend weeks away from their families. It's one of the hardest, loneliest jobs in America. Many drivers quit within a few years. Age is another issue. The average driver is 47 to 55 years old. Young people don't want to join because of the lifestyle. The salary is not bad, $50,000 to $80,000 per year, but the stress, isolation, and health issues scare young workers away. This shortage raises prices, delays shipments, and increases inflation. And this is where the Tesla Semi becomes a game changer. It is designed to attract the younger generation back into trucking. Instead of sitting in a loud, vibrating diesel truck, drivers get a modern electric cabin with a central seating position, 360-degree visibility, dual touchscreens, premium seating, and advanced driver assistance features. Long trips become less stressful. FSD in the future may allow drivers to let the truck handle long highway stretches, reducing fatigue and improving safety. Which feature would you want Tesla to add to the new semi-cabin? 
And what do you think is the biggest problem facing trucking today? And now, here's the part we couldn't stop laughing at. A viral clip showed a Russian robot walking like a drunk man being escorted to a police station. It's hilarious. But then compare that to the Tesla bot we saw at the 2025 shareholder meeting. It was dancing on stage with Elon Musk, smooth, clean movements, much better than before. But the robots on stage weren't even the final version. Those were just 2.5 test units. The real one will be Optimus Gen 3 launching early next year. This will be Tesla's first fully commercial robot, 70% human-like with natural movement. Elon said it himself. When you see Optimus Gen 3, it will look like a person in a robot suit. The Optimus Gen 3 will launch with around 1,500 useful tasks. Later updates will expand it to 3,000 tasks. But the one everyone should be watching closely is Optimus Gen 4. Optimus Gen 4 will be twice as smart as Gen 3, support around 5,000 tasks, and Elon said it may even be capable of surgery. Robots don't shake. They don't get tired. They can perform with absolute precision, better than human hands. Elon said Optimus will become better than the best surgeon in the world. Optimus 4 is planned for 2027. Optimus 5 will follow in 2028. Each year, a major upgrade. The Gen 3 version arrives next year. Everyone wants to know. What will be the price? Will it really cook, wash dishes, clean homes, fold clothes, and help elderly people? Will it be a real homemaker? And then, just last month, Elon Musk posted on X that AI and robots will replace all jobs. Working will be optional, just like growing your own food today. You can do it, but you don't have to. Before we continue the deeper part of the script, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Future Drive Hub brings you updates that other channels don't cover. The demand for electric trucks is rising faster than anyone expected. Companies want lower fuel costs, lower maintenance, and higher reliability. Diesel engines break down all the time. Electric motors don't. A diesel truck needs oil changes, transmission service, injector replacement, coolant flushes, belt replacements, filter changes, thousands of dollars in yearly maintenance. But an electric drivetrain has almost no moving parts. It just works. This alone is the biggest reason why logistics companies are pushing to switch. Every mile they drive in a Tesla semi saves money. And every year, the difference becomes bigger. The fuel savings are massive. The repair savings are massive. And the reliability? Even bigger. With fewer breakdowns, delivery schedules become much easier to maintain. This shift isn't just financial. It's environmental too. Diesel trucks are one of the biggest polluters on highways. They release toxic gases like nitrogen oxides and carbon particulates. Electric trucks remove that problem completely. That's why states like California, New York, Oregon, and Washington are already preparing regulations to move trucking fleets toward electric power. But still, the biggest crisis the industry faces isn't emissions, it's drivers. The driver shortage in the U.S. is getting worse every year. And the numbers behind it are scary. Nearly 25% of all truck drivers are expected to retire within the next five to seven years. And fewer young people are replacing them. Colleges, trade schools, and training centers all report the same trend. Almost no new young trainees want to become long-haul truckers. Because the lifestyle is too hard. The stress is too high. Drivers spend weeks away from home. They miss family events. They sleep in parked trucks under loud highways. Their schedules are unpredictable. Their health suffers. And eventually, they burn out. A new generation simply refuses to enter a job that takes their entire life away. 